solve the formula for z. So we have 1 over p plus 1 over b equals 1 over z, and we're looking for z. Okay, so in order to find z, z is in the bottom, um, we have to get rid of the z. Now, fractions are hard to work with, so let's start by getting rid of all the fractions. So to get rid of the p, we have to multiply by p. To get rid of the b, we have to multiply by b. And to get rid of the z, we have to multiply by z. So what we'll do is we'll multiply everything by pbz. So we have pbz times 1 over p plus pbz times 1 over b equals pbz times 1 over z. And that will clear every single fraction. Here the p's cancel, so we're left with bz times 1, so just bz. Here the b's cancel, so we're left with pz. And then here the z's cancel, so we're left with pb. Okay, so again, to get rid of all of the fractions, we just multiply by p, b, and z, and then it clears all up. We're looking for z. So here's a z and here's a z, so we can factor it out. So we're left, we're left with b plus p equals pb. <laughs> Lots of letters, right? Let's check that. zb is bz, zp is pz. So same thing. To finish, we divide by b plus p, because it's being multiplied by z. And so the final answer ends up being, this cancels, we get z equals pb, makes me think of peanut butter, <laughs> over b plus p. And that would be the final answer. That was a little bit tougher. That's it.